Google has become synonymous with search. You talk to someone and they say, Google it. It really means just search it out, right? So what's kind of cool is that Google has taken this opportunity to take all of those searches and give us some cool pictures and information about things that are trending and ways that um, people are searching over the years. To uh, check out these cool trends, what you need to do is go to trends.google.com. So that will take you to the main homepage for Google Trends. This homepage uh, is going to show you some interesting things. It will start out with just some featured things that it would like you to look at. So it shows you some big uh, searches. So obviously we have politics, it's prom time right now, so that's coming up, the NBA playoffs. You can scroll over and look at some other popular trending things and get more detail by clicking on these. That will allow you to um, see some more information. It will give you that graph and you can share it with people. You'll notice that it's an interactive graph, which is great. And so if you scroll along, it's going to show you the search interest uh, on those particular dates that you are searching for. It also gives you a little bit more information. If you scroll down further, it's going to show you some other ways of looking at the data as well as related data. So here it's looking at national parks and water and showing you a lot of different trends that are all related to that. Again, this is based on searches. So how often people are searching these things and where they are when they are searching them which is very, very cool and something that you might want to use for a math or um, some sort of statistics analysis uh, to look at how those things are correlated. Now I'm going to go back to the homepage to show you a couple other things you can see on the homepage besides just the popular things. Uh, first off, at the top, you'll notice that you can look at particular categories that they have available for you for those important featured insights. And you can also search by different countries. United States is the default for me because that's where I'm at, but you can always change that and look at something else. Um, if you scroll past the features insights, you're going to see what are popular stories that are trending, what are things that people are looking at or interested in in the past 24 hours. It gives you a little uh, line graph there for you to see um, as well as an image and if you click on those you're going to be able to get more information about those particular things. You can also explore so if you wanted to look at the Oscars that was recently you can search for Oscars. You'll notice it gives you a few suggestions but I can just search for Oscars and it will show me trends that are related to that. So it's saying how often are people searching for the Oscars? It's really cool to note, like, look at the interest over time. You'll see that there are all these spikes, and when do they occur? Right around Oscar time. Well, I gotta search for who's up for it. It also shows you some information about the location, similar to when I clicked on the other, um, the other trending search. Now, a couple other things you can do while you're in these is you can customize your views. You can change things. If there's a drop down, you can change those by the drop down. You can share this graph. You think that's great. You want to share it with all your followers? Share that. It's very easy to do with one little click. Now, to do some more customization for your searching, if you go over to the left hand side, you will see those three horizontal bars, and that will open up a menu for you. So here we have home. It will take you to a specific explore page if you want to look at an explore one. You can look more closely at trending searches as well as trending on YouTube and top charts. Uh, a cool thing that you can do is you can click on subscriptions and what that will allow you to do is to subscribe to certain search terms so that when you go to your Google Trends, when you log in and see that, with your Google account, it will show you that information first as opposed to what everybody else is searching. Now the last thing down here is Google Correlates. That's going to open up a new tab and this is something that you actually might want to consider using in addition to just trends. Click on Correlate and it will open that up. So Google Correlate 
is going to allow you to correlate different uh, search criteria and how they are related to each other. This is kind of hitting close to home for me because as a math teacher, um, I'm really thinking about data a lot. We make scatter plots. We talk about uh, what sort of patterns we see. When you look at Google Correlate, you can get some options right away about comparing states, comparing by the week, comparing by the month, and uh, you can also narrow down different countries. You can search correlations if you want to search correlations yourself, and you can see some documentation for Google Correlate. So it gives you some information that you might want to try out. Uh, it's about winter time, so there's some uh, associated things for winter time. You can also just search correlate for things that you want to see. So maybe I want to see who is searching for tulips, right? What kind of things are people interested in tulips searching for? So what it does is it gives me uh, associated or correlated search terms. So right now, it just shows me these search terms for the first one. So the search activity for tulips and hyacinths. They have a very good correlation coefficient. So obviously, people are searching for one, and they're searching for the other. You can look at your graph, just like in trends, but this one allows you to do some more um, specific searching. So maybe I want to start in 2010. I can click and drag and only see this part of the graph. It will spread it out and I can see a little bit more um, closely what the activity looks like. Now, a, it will give you a couple of options between line chart and scatter plot depending on what it is that you want to see. If you click on scatter plot, you can see that correlation really closely. When you look at the line chart, it's comparing the two lines. And you can click on any of these other search terms to go, okay, well, what's the correlation with tulips and junior prom? And it will show you that data as well. One thing that I really like is uh, if you look over on the left-hand side, you can search by drawing. So let's say I want to see what search terms have a curve that looks like that. All I did was click and start drawing. Um, I want to keep it in the United States and I'm going to click correlate. So what it's going to do is show me search terms that have that particular shape over time. So you'll see I got some interesting things because I searched for something kind of interesting with my drawing and it will show those to you on a graph. Again, you can look at specific time ranges if you want, and again, you can switch between the line chart and the scatter plot. You'll notice that as you scroll over the graph, just like in Google Trends, it's going to show you that particular information. Um, it shows me the date, it shows me the, you'll have to watch right above the graph, it shows me the date, it shows me what it is on my drawing line and what it is in your answer. So again, a very powerful tool for a math classroom. Um, that's pretty much it about Google Correlate. Really, it's just a matter of finding interesting data and seeing uh, what it is that you want to look at and how people are searching for these. One thing to note is that this is all related to searches. How popular are these things? How often are they being searched? I'll do another video on another way that you can look at different types of data that are correlated to each other that do not have to do with um, Google searches. So that is Google Trends, showed you that one. And related to Google Trends are the Google Correlate data series. So for sure, check both those out. Really, it's a matter of playing around and seeing what it is that you might be able to do with them.